Hello, everyone. This is Father and Son Worlds Apart. I'm Marcus. I'm Denny. And we're going to look at the Battlefield 2042 beta test that Danny did. So stay tuned. Danny uh, beta tested Battlefield 2042. And he also have some footage of him playing the game. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. And let everybody see Danny, uh, you know, put the smack down. So, uh, <laughs> well, no, I didn't really get a smack down. I, I, I just kind of, you know, I, I just kind of show some a little bit of the game. Uh, pop it on, on. Hold on, but let yeah, me so bring just, it up. Just to kind, I just did like a kind of little view, a little look around. Um, Okay. I did care. I, I kept getting killed just because I kept trying to show some of the stuff in the area. And so there's a lot of freaks out there already. But so you, I will so be. You're, so you're already making excuses for getting dominated? <laughs> already. Yeah. Well, I got, I'm going, I got a bunch of real good footage um, yesterday. I've been playing this since yesterday. So it came out midnight, uh, y'all's time yesterday. But uh -huh. in Germany, it came out at nine o'clock in the morning. So. I was up after my doctor's appointment and smashing it literally the whole day. Why can't I not? Hold on. Oh, there we go. So here's a little thing. Here's one of the cool little things that they've updated. So uh, you can switch the weapons in game now. So there you can see if you press uh, L1, you can actually up is triangle, um, right is circle, down is X, uh, left is square. So you, all you do is tap the uh, direction and you can change your attachments in game, which is very, very cool. Uh, that was pretty nerve wracking. You had to leave the game and everything before you could change your attachments. And in the game, you, you we all know Battlefield can take a long time sometimes. So you can sometimes wait and wait and wait until you actually get out and get to change your attachment. So this is very, very cool. Oh, and okay. also like the mechanics of the game are just insane. Like just so one of the cool things around the map, they have um, these like little cooling tanks scattered. And if you have somebody in the vicinity, uh, for instance, if one of these things blow up so you can shoot at it, you also have propane tanks you can shoot at. I, I think I got a little clip in here of that as well um but um the cooling tanks like if you shoot them and there's somebody in the vicinity of the blast the their whole screen will slowly start to freeze up so it's a really really cool touch they put a lot of detail there you see the rocket mm -hmm. um from the trailer um there's something that happens i haven't quite figured it out yet because i've been just trying to just test the mechanics of the game because i'm also for my other YouTube channel, I'm testing the PS version and the PlayStation 5 and then comparing to see which one's better. Mm -hmm. And so I've been really just focused on mechanics. So today I'm actually just going to be just playing, just worried about getting kills and doing some cool stuff. And then I'll figure out how you get this rocket thing to go cook up because towards the end of this video, I thought it was going to happen and I got everybody all riled up, but then all of a sudden, it, the game was over with already so there's something you have to do before the game comes to an end to make that rocket go up i guess but we got very very close mm -hmm. so we can see i'm gonna take you up here to the um, what we got here yeah. okay you trying to give me motion sickness or something <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to find a good little a good little spot we can um there, I think, but somebody somebody killed me while I was trying to show. I was just to uh, take you through it a little bit. So the map is called Orbital, and the crazy thing about this map, I think, uh, yeah. So you can see that's just like a small part there, but this map is huge. Over those mountains, I mean, in all different directions, there's mm -hmm. there's bases and. DICE has said that this is actually a mid-scale map. So the maps are actually going to be even bigger than this, which is insane. Man, um, that's a lot. Of, that that take a lot of work to make a game like this. Oh, yeah. And that's why nobody can be mad when they say we're going to take another month. I mean, really, realistically, for me, 
you could let us play this until the release of the game, which is November 19th. So I'm, I'll be absolutely happy with that because this, I mean, is out of this world. I mean, the graphics, the mechanics and everything. I took some sniper shots, some real good. There you see me getting killed. Um, I took some real good sniper shots. And I mean, it took me a while to get readjusted to it because the mechanics, I mean, you really have to for long distance shots, you have to raise your weapon up a little bit because the bullets will curve and you can see them curve. It's in, it's absolutely mm -hmm. insane. I mean, they put really a lot of work into this. Okay. Okay. And that's, that sounds sound like an interesting game. My reflexes ain't fast enough for games like this anymore. Yeah, that's another thing. So the um, today, uh, yesterday and today, was early access for the people that pre-ordered the game or that have ea pass um or ea subscription so mm -hmm. in which which my case i have both on playstation i have the ea membership because i play all of ea games anyways and then um on pc i have i pre-ordered the game because i can make better content on pc okay. let's go a little bit more into the front here here you can yeah so here you can actually see the roof here you can see more of the map uh -huh. <clears throat> oh yeah yeah that's real but, nice man that's that's excellent graphics and that's just one way that's just one little direction that goes the other way even further so and like i said to at midnight tonight make sure everyone has the game downloaded because at midnight tonight everybody's going to have a chance to play the beta for two days so the beta test phase ends on the ninth for everybody and yeah, that'll be it. So make sure you get as much playing time in as possible because everybody's on it. I mean, my feed from all my favorite streamers are full of this. And I mean, everyone that they play all sorts of different games from Call of Duty to Minecraft. I mean, all sorts of stuff. And um, yeah, there's me getting killed constantly. And everybody's been streaming Battlefield 2042. So I think this is an epic epic game i think a lot of people are going to jump off of their games and just going to be playing this for a while because this is everything yeah that you could wish for in a war game i mean you can't get better than this the vehicle the, there's new weapons i mean and the one the other good thing uh there's a new anti-cheat system the easy cheat anti-cheat software that mm -hmm. ea and dice are using and Cheaters will not prosper in this game. Um, we all know it from like Call of Duty Warzone, for instance. It's filled with hackers. You can't really enjoy the game much anymore because people are killing you from across the mile without even trying, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's been a huge problem. Uh, Activision hasn't really done much about it, but DICE has addressed the problem very, very well. And with this software, not only if you get caught cheating, not only will you be... Uh, will they ban your gamer tag which is what they do in most games they just ban your gamer tag and then you can go on and just make a new tag and then just play and get on other people's nerves again mm -hmm. um you not only will your gamer tag be banned your ip address will be banned oh and the your ip address you're on. so Man, your ip address get banned you screw that's it you're not playing this game anymore and I mean, I bought the super duper gold edition um, for a hundred euros. So, you know, this game is not cheap. And plus, mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, this is just something that you want to be part of. So don't don't ruin it for yourself and for, at the, for the most others. There's a lot of people out there that, that just take advantage of the of the whole hacking thing. And I'm just glad that this is one game where you can actually get away with it because I do a lot of content on Call of Duty Warzone on my other channel, and it's sometimes very, very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you see me getting killed again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that, I don't know what, man. Cheetos just take away from the game for everybody. And, it's, yeah. and for what reason? It makes no sense. It just take the fun out of it when you like pretty much in God mode, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's um it's 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 crap. There's like I said, they there's a lot of people that use these um like aimbots and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um 
I mean, there's you can snipe people from all the way across the map without even aiming at them. The bullets are set in these things just to extra. Um, here we go. I think here I kill somebody. Uh, yeah, so there I finally get a kill for you guys. <laughs> but then I get killed as well. Oh, no, he was on my team. Never mind. But, um, yeah, it's been a huge, huge problem. And it's been, it's made the game quite unenjoyable because one of my big things, and I get a lot of followers and a lot of likes on it, is my sniper clips. And it takes a lot of talent and a lot of skill to put some of these clips together and some of these shots, for, um, for instance, you know. Mm -hmm. And... You sit there and you you put all this hard work in and then you just you know because you can see the replay that's the worst thing about it you actually see your your kill cam so when somebody kills you you see how they killed you and then when you see that they're using the hacking softwares and stuff and it just just makes the game not fun you know mm -hmm. and i did go away from from gaming there for a while because of it because that was the only game that i actually enjoyed mm -hmm. So did yeah. you, so you had this problem in the first the the uh the first one, or no? You in about the game in Call of Duty, of Duty Warzone, a, a complete Warzone. different game, um from a complete different um brand. This is a, a call a Call of Duty is actually the direct um, what do you say um competitor from Battlefield. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I know and, Call of Duty and stuff. I mean, yeah. you know, that's like one of the more popular ones but uh so battlefield addressed the issues that call of duty was having with all of the hacking and the cheating yeah. and the slash god mode play yeah <laughs> they're basically telling you if you can do it you might be able to put a software in there or you might be able to hack or cheat some way but um we will find out who it is and or we will find out about it and we will ban you for good so uh, they're not they're not playing around with it yeah because you just can't go and get a new ip address no uh -uh. <laughs> or get a whole new complete registered device i mean if you're playing on your pc or on your playstation 5 and you have to go buy a whole new console just because you know you wanted to be an an a-hole yeah <sighs> yeah Okay, I, I think that's 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 great. That that's mm -hmm. yeah, that that'll keep the game enjoyable. There so, you can see that's another one of the cool new features there is that little dog. Mm -hmm. They got these little you know, it's like a little um it's like an attachment you can get and you can drop. Um mm -hmm. it's a little dog with a machine gun and it runs around and really annihilates. It's cool when it's on your side, but it's bad when you're on the opposite end of it. <laughs> yeah, I see. No joke. they added like i said they added a lot of very 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 cool things i mean they, they have a lot of cool infra infrastructures in there now you have little warehouse scattered all over the places you know that makes it cooler for close combat situations um you can still i mean one of the coolest things about battlefield was you could in the other games like battlefield 4 and stuff like that you could destroy literally buildings if you had somebody on the opposite side of a wall, you could go grab an RPG or something. You could destroy that wall and just to get to somebody. And that was really, really cool. And that's the same going to be the same thing as well in here. You can destroy doors and, and, and windows and stuff to, to gain quicker access. I mean, the original skeletal infrastructures will remain just like you know it in all the other games. But just as you know from Battlefield, you can you can tear down buildings. I mean, it's just a game where you can absolutely let out all your aggression, which is why I loved it for years. Okay, all right, that's cool, man. Like I said, that's hey, it seems like you got it down, son. So, uh, getting there. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, that that. Sound like a fun game, man. You you had you got me want to go and start playing a little bit now. Oh yeah, come on. Like I said, as of midnight, anybody can download the beta and test it for the next two days. So that has disappeared. So I'm gonna finish this off. No, he's coming back. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> he's back. Okay. I was about I to end this. I'm trying to uh, remove this. Uh, uh, 
this the screen here, but uh, we cool. Oh. Okay, it's good. Don't worry about it. We good. But uh, yeah. So I I, I removed myself by mistake. So <laughs> all right. Yeah. But so, yeah, that sounds like removed. a that sounds like a fun game. And it really uh, is. Like I said, it is an absolutely amazing game. You will not go wrong. Like I said, it, it doesn't hurt you to download the game and give it a try. Um, you have two days to test the game. You have uh, Friday um, and Saturday. So mm-hmm. take advantage of it. Like I said, a lot of m- all of my favorite streamers, you know, I mean, I watch people that f- cover things like PUBG, um, Call of Duty, Minecraft. Everybody was on Battlefield 2042 the last few days. So it's it's a thing you don't want to miss. And like I said, it is absolutely fun. Okay. Awesome. 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 So uh, in the comments below, if you feel you going to test out and take Danny up on his uh, uh, challenge about getting on Battlefield 2042, uh, put it in the comments below. And we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you later. Peace. <laughs>